What's up guys? Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and we are here with some big Bronco news. So in this video we are going to go over every standard and available option on every trim level of every Bronco and we're also going to tell you the MSRPs or the starting MSRPs before options. And so in this video that is what we're going to do. Now if you haven't already done so make sure you click down in the link below. That is our link to reserve our Bronco through our dealership. Uh, as you guys probably already know we're advertising that there are no dealer markups on any Bronco reservations. So make sure you reserve your Bronco, depending on when you're watching this video, reserve your Bronco today so that way you don't have to pay anything over MSRP. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the base model. So pardon the fact that I've got notes, but there's a lot of different things that I'm not able to memorize. So I'm going to actually take this, uh, these forms, I'm going to make these available for download. That is also going to be linked down in the description if you want to take a look at the notes that I am looking at here. So with that being said, let's talk about the overall different trim levels that are available. First, you've got the base, then you've got the big bend, the black diamond, then you've got the Badlands, you have the Wild Track, and then lastly is going to be the first edition. If you haven't already ordered the first edition, it may be too late uh, if you have not already reserved that. It's gonna be 3,500 vehicles are gonna be limited on that first edition. So first off, let's talk about the base model. Uh, what that's going to do is on the two door, it has a starting MSRP of $28,500, and it has an MSRP for the four door at $33,200. Now keep in mind that's two door and four door. Now the cool part about the standard equipment on the base model it's going to be the perfect option if you're going to totally trick one out because it comes with a standard 2.3 liter EcoBoost motor it's a four cylinder it comes standard with the seven speed manual transmission with uh, one of those gears being the actual crawl gear which is I think is pretty cool as well um, that particular transfer case is going to be different than these higher end versions this one has the four-wheel drive with the part-time selectable engagement and that is going to be standard. Uh, it also comes with 16 inch standard steel wheels and it comes with 30 inch tires. So once again, it's designed to, hey, if you're going to go ahead and lift it anyways, go ahead and start with the smaller wheels, smaller tires, and the, the less expensive option that you're going to throw away anyways when you go and do the lift. Now the cool part about the base model is even the base model comes standard with Sync 4 with the eight inch touchscreen. I think that's fantastic that Ford's including that technology standard instead of having a tiny little non touch screen. Um, the other thing is, is that uh, you actually have carpet in this vehicle is going to be standard and you also have cloth is going to be standard in the vehicle. Um, and the nice thing is, is that I love the fact that they made the removable doors available standard equipment in the base model as well as the removable roof. So I think that's also pretty cool. Uh, the other thing, uh, Ford calls it their Haas system, which I think is an awesome name. By the way, they have gotten some pretty cool names on this new Bronco. The Haas, it actually stands for High Performance Off-Road Stability Suspension System. That's considered standard. Now there's a couple of variations that's above that Haas system. It's a Haas with Bilstein. That comes later down in the other trim levels. So keep tuned for that. Um, also, this particular base model Model comes with standard with the terrain management system with five different goat modes. Um, and so that is going to be your standard equipment on the, uh, the base model. Once again, starting at 28.5 and 33.2 for those two different vehicles. Now let's talk about available options and available packages. Now one of the things that I love about the new Bronco is that they are going to make the Sasquatch package available as an option across the board. It's either going to be available or standard, but you can get even the least expensive one with set of 35s. That's right, the Sasquatch package comes with 35 inch tires. It's an LT315 by 70 R17 and it's a black sidewall mud terrain. Uh, so that's the only downside is the 35 only comes in a mud terrain, but if you're going with a 35, that's probably what you want anyways. Uh, but in addition to that, the Sasquatch package comes with 17 inch beadlock capable wheels with a bead protection ring. So beadlock wheels are not, st not street legal from the factory. So what Ford is going to do is they're going to send you this wheel uh, that has got the bead protection ring. So if you curb the wheels or if you, if you scuff them while you're off-roading, you can actually replace that bead protection ring and just put another one on instead of having to buy a whole new wheel or if you're going to be hardcore off-roading you can actually buy the part from our dealership and you can actually convert that wheel into a bead lock wheel which again not street legal but it is possible now the other things that uh, the Sasquatch package has 
Included in it is, I mentioned to you that that Haas, the, the, uh, the high performance off-road stability system, it is upgraded from now from the Haas to the Haas with Bilstein position sensitive dampers. Uh, so that's basically, it's got a high end version of the damper that is going to be able to tell exactly what the suspension is doing. So uh, that is something that you need to know. Also, the Sasquatch package gives you an upgraded front axle. It gives you an M210 Dana Advanced Tech upgraded independent front axle, and it also gives you lockers in the front and the rear. So locking differential front and rear. That is what is included in the, in the Sasquatch package that is available on the base model. Now let's talk about some other options that are available on the base model. Going to be the 10-speed automatic transmission, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost motor, which as you probably already know, the 2.7 liter is only available in the automatic transmission. So let me translate this for you. If you want the manual transmission, you have to go with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost. All right, so the next thing that is available as an option is you can actually go with a heavy duty modular front bumper um, and that's available with a front end uh, bash plate. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, next up, you've got the auxiliary switches that are also available. And then lastly, you're gonna have the trail control with turn trail turn assist available, uh, but the, keep in mind that does require the 10 speed automatic transmission. All right, so with that being said, let's talk about the Big Bend version. Uh, that is going to have a base MSRP of 33,385 on the two door and 35,880 for the four door. Once again, these are base model prices or base packages before any options. Uh, but what does that 33 or $35,000 get you? Well, on the Big Bend, it gives you the 2.3 liter is gonna be standard again. The seven speed is gonna be standard again in that same transfer case that I mentioned to you in the last one. Uh, the next thing that's gonna be different I guess then the prior version is going to be it comes standard with leather, leather wrap steering wheel and a gear shifter so that's something that you need to know uh, it also comes with 17 inch carbonized gray aluminum wheels it comes with a bigger tire two inches taller actually to a 32 inch tire it's a p255 75 r17 uh, all-terrain tire uh, it also comes with upgraded cloth seats a carbonized front, uh, front grill, carbonized gray front grill, privacy glass, LED fog lamps, and then it also includes one extra mode on your GOAT mode that goes over any terrain mode. Uh, so you do get an extra mode there. Now let's talk about the available options and packages. I've already mentioned what the Sasquatch package comes in, but I'll flash that right there on the screen so you can see. You have the ability to go with the Sasquatch package that picks up everything that we just showed you on the screen. The next thing that it does is you have the available mid package. Now the mid package, as you can see right there on the screen, comes with a lot of different features. And since you can read it, I'm going to go through it as fast as I possibly can. Comes with a two door intelligent access with lock and unlock. Comes with a 110 volt, 150 watt AC power outlet ambient footwell lighting, auto dimming rear view mirror, dual zone electronic automatic temperature control, heated front seats, illuminated visor mirrors. It comes with remote start system, uh, which is only available in the automatic transmission. Please note that. Uh, also comes uh, with the reverse sensing system. It comes with a subscription for the navigation system with a three month trial. Uh, comes with Sync 4 with enhanced voice recognition. Ford Copilot 360, which includes the pre-collision assist, automatic emergency braking. Also comes with blind spot information system with cross track of alert, cross traffic alert, lane keeping system, auto high beams, rear view camera, and backup assist grid lines. So that is a lot of stuff that is included in that mid package. Now, the next thing that you want to know is the 10 speed automatic transmission is also available on this version, as well as the 10, 2.7 liter um, once again, going to be mated to that 10 speed automatic transmission when you go to that 2.7. The heavy duty modular front bumper is available and that does come with the uh, front bash plates. Uh, that's automatically when you get one, you get the other. Auxiliary switches are going to also be available in this particular vehicle. Trail control and trail turn assist available. Uh, but as I mentioned to you earlier, that does require the 10 speed automatic transmission. All right. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and drop into the black diamond version. Before we jump into that, this video took me a long time to prep, uh, especially this document, because the Ford's comparison chart, it's a little confusing. Or maybe it's just the, the Alabama redneck in me. So if you could do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button, if this video helps you at all, 
it really helps us with the algorithm. So that is very, very greatly appreciated. Uh, but the Black Diamond package has an MSRP, base MSRP of 36050 for the two-door version and 38545 for the four-door version. And included standard in that is going to be that same 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder, the same seven-speed manual transmission, the same transfer case as the prior two trim levels. Um, in addition to that, this particular vehicle gets 17-inch black painted steel wheels. So it's got some steelies on it. Looks good too, uh, especially if you like that military-esque style of a video, vehicle that is. <laughs> Uh, but it comes with 32 inch tires. It's an LT26570 R17 all terrain. Uh, also comes with marine grade vinyl seats. So that's pretty cool. A lot of these Broncos are going to become with uh, silicone coated and sealed off switches. So that way, if you get a little bit of water in your vehicle, there's no reason to freak out. Now you got the, uh, the marine grade vinyl seats. That's pretty cool. Um, and this one also comes with rubberized flooring with drain plugs. So you literally can spray out the interior of this vehicle. How stinking cool is that? Uh, in addition to that, this particular vehicle, this particular trim level, comes with the heavy-duty modular front bumper, comes with a powder-coated rear steel bumper, which I think is pretty cool, comes with rock rails, so that way you can actually not worry about you know, crushing the side of your body, uh, of the vehicle that is, uh, heavy-duty uh, bash plates, auxiliary switches in the overhaul console, rubberized flooring that I've already mentioned to you, and this one has seven GOAT modes, so that's pretty cool. And then it also comes standard with the locking rear differential. You can see the Black Diamond version is a much more off-road centric version trim level. It's designed to be something that you don't mind getting nasty and dirty. This is gonna be that option. Um, as I mentioned to you in the prior vehicles, uh, the prior trim levels, the Sasquatch package is also available. Comes with all those options you see right there on the screen. It also has the available mid package. I've already read that to you, so I'll flash that on the screen. Um, and once again, those two packages are available, not standard. Uh, you also have the 10-speed automatic transmission available, the 2.7 liter available, and you also have a 17-inch high gloss black aluminum wheel, which I think is a pretty good looking wheel. Uh, you have the trail control and trail turn assist, uh, once again, uh, needing the 10-speed automatic transmission. So that is going to be the standard equipment and the available equipment on the Black Diamond version. All right, let's take it another step higher, and that's going to be the Outer Banks version. Outer Banks version has an MSRP starting at $38,955 for the two-door and $41,450 for the four-door. Um, once again, you get a 2.3 liter EcoBoost motor four-cylinder standard in this trim level. However, this is the first trim level where you automatically get the 10-speed automatic transmission as standard equipment. That's right, the Outer Banks, you cannot equip it with a manual transmission. You gotta go uh, below the Outer Banks trim levels to get that manual transmission if that's something that you wanna do. Uh, but it also comes with a four-time part-time select engagement, and that's gonna be the same transfer case. So up to this point, the only thing that's different is gonna come standard with automatic transmission. Uh, this one comes with 18-inch black painted machine faced aluminum wheels 32 inch tires uh, and it also comes standard with the mid package if you can't remember what that is flash that on the screen for you as well that's what's included on the mid package uh, the terrain management system was six goat modes so we actually took a step back uh, the the prior trim level that we just talked about uh, had seven goat modes this one has six goat modes and once again goat mode is the greatest of all time no i'm kidding it's goes over any terrain uh goes over any type of terrain that's what that stands for uh, but this particular trim level picks up signature led headlamps and tail lamps so it's going to drastically change the look of the vehicle uh, you also get body colored uh, exterior door handles, mirror caps, and fender flares, powder coated tube steps. You have uh, cloth seats with heated front row, um, trail control and trail turn assist is gonna be standard. And then also that trail one pedal driving, but that requires the 10 speed automatic transmission and the 2.7 it requires both of them but the 10 speed's already automatic, uh, automatically included on this particular version. All right, so now let's talk about the available options and available packages on the Outer Banks model. Uh, first off, you do have the available leather seats. Second, you have got the Sasquatch package. Also, you have, for the first time in this video that I'm mentioning it, is the high package. And that high package includes all of the mid-level package, plus these things, which is gonna be the 12-inch center stack touchscreen, 360-degree camera, additional sound deadening materials, uh, which is gonna make it nice and quiet on the inside when you're driving, 
forward sensing system and also side mirror LED approach lamps and spotlight. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. That's what the high package comes with. But you also can opt it for the Lux package, the luxury package. And what is included in that? Well, it's got everything in the high package, as you can see right there on the screen, plus adaptive cruise control, B&O, banging Olsen sound system with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. It also comes with evasive steering assist, heated steering wheel, universal garage door opener, two additional front row smart charging USB ports, voice activated navigation system, and then also a wireless charging pad for your iPhone 10, iPhone 11, Galaxies, uh, Androids, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so pretty cool stuff there. Now, as I've already mentioned to you, the Outer Banks comes standard with the 2.3, so obviously you can get a 2.7 liter, but it comes with, you guessed it, the 10-speed automatic transmission. Let's talk about the available locking rear differential. It is available as a standalone option on this vehicle, on this trim level, uh, but it is also included standard with the Sasquatch package. So if you want that locking rear differential and the front, Sasquatch already got you covered. Uh, HD heavy duty modular front bumper uh, with the front end bash plates is available as a standalone option on this trim level as well. And then you also get the auxiliary switches. So there you go. Now let's talk about the Badlands Edition. The Badlands Edition has got an MSRP of $42,095 uh, for the two door and then $44,590 for the four door. Um, as you can probably guess, the 2.3 liter engine's gonna be standard. Uh, you also take a step back where this particular trim level actually comes standard with the seven speed manual transmission. Once again, one of those gears is gonna be a crawl gear. You also get the advanced four wheel drive automatic on demand engagement transfer case. So this one, you pick up that standard equipment, you've got a nicer transfer case. It's gonna be a lot easier to engage the four wheel drive because it does it automatically for you and you can just change your your gear, change your, uh, your goat mode, automatically transits a transfer case. That's pretty cool. Uh, but the terrain management, the goat modes, uh, actually picks up rock crawl and Baja mode on the Badlands Edition. The Badlands Edition is going to be the baddest one for off-roading. That's the way I remember it. Yes, my mind is a little simple. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this vehicle also comes standard with 17-inch carbonized gray painted machined faced aluminum wheels. That was a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> Uh, also, uh, it comes standard with 33-inch tires, an LT28570 R17 all-terrain tire. Uh, it also comes with unique Badland suspension with a front stabilizer bar disconnect. And that's a pretty cool feature because it's not going to be available in a lot of our vehicles. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna mention the ones that it is available on, uh, but everything prior to this, you can't get a stabilizer disconnect bar um, without going the Badlands or there's one other one that I'm gonna tell you about here in a second. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Um, but you also get the heavy duty modular front bumper we've been talking about, powder coated steel rear bumper, auxiliary switches, rubberized flooring with drain plugs. And it also comes with marine grade vinyl seats. So as we mentioned earlier in the video, how you can literally spray out your vehicle, this is another one of those where literally you can let, pull the drain plugs, let everything pour out, spray it out, spray the mud out, whatever the case is, is really, really nice that they give you that ability. Um, but you also get the uh, available leather trim seats. I guess that should have been put down in the uh, leather, uh, in the available options, but nonetheless, uh, you do have the available leather seats on this particular one. And then also trail control, trail turn assist, and then trail one pedal driving is going to be available in the 10 speed and then also the 2.7 with the 10 speed. Keep that in mind as well. Available options and packages. All right, so our available options are starting to get a little bit, a little bit slim pickings because a lot of this stuff is starting to get included in the trim levels. Um, the Sasquatch package, obviously it's available because it's available across the board. Mid package, as you can see right there, it's available. The high package, it's available. The Lux package, it's available. And then also the 17 inch high gloss black aluminum wheels is also available. So that is going to be it for the Badlands Edition. All right, so let's talk about our next one. This is where it starts to get a little crazy. This is the Wild Track version of the, of the Ford Bronco. And I know I've already mentioned it to you, but as you can see, there's a lot of notes and a lot of details is going into this video. I've already said it before, please smash the thumbs up button on this because it really does help the algorithm. We spent a lot of time preparing for this video just to try and make it a little easier for, hey, this is what I'm looking for 
and we're just trying to make it easier for you. And if you don't mind, make sure you use the reservation link down below to place your reservation. Uh, we would love to be your dealer and we're not gonna mark up the MSRP at all on any Bronco reservations. All right, so Wild Track. It has an MSRP of 48,875 for the two door. A whole lot of money but it also has an MSRP of 51,370 base MSRP for the four door. So 48,8 and 51,3 uh, is your MSRPs. However, this is where you're starting to get a lot more equipment standard. Comes with a 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost, the big boy motor right out of the box. Comes with a 10 speed automatic transmission right out of the box the higher end gear um, transfer case. So it comes with the advanced four wheel drive with automatic on demand engagement. Comes with the terrain management system with seven goat modes. Uh, so this one also includes the rock crawl and the Baja mode. It also includes the modular shadow black painted hard top. So this is the first place that you actually see the, uh, the hard top included in this entire video. So this is one of the other reasons it's a lot more expensive. Uh, wild, track hood uh, wild track hood graphics. That's gotta be worth at least $2,000 in Ford's money. <laughs> but nonetheless, you do get that standard equipment. Carpeted flooring is going to also be standard in the Wild Track model as well. Cloth seats with heated front row seats. That's pretty cool. The mid package, as you've already seen, it's included standard equipment there as well. Sasquatch package. This is the first time we've seen the Sasquatch package as a standalone option or excuse me, it's, it's the first time we've seen Sasquatch included in no extra cost. It's included in standard equipment, so that's pretty cool. Uh, trail, con trail control, trail turn assist, uh, once again, requires the 10-speed automated transmission, but you can't get this one in a manual, so you're covered there. Trail one-pedal driving, same thing there. But because this one comes standard with that Sasquatch package, you automatically get the 35-inch tires. It's a 315-70 R17 black sidewall mud terrain, uh, but you also get the 17-inch beadlock capable wheels. We've already talked about that. It comes with a bead protection ring, but you have the ability to convert it to a beadlock later, but keep in mind it's not street legal. Um, but you also come with plastic front and rear bumpers. So that's the only downside to that wild track model that I see, but it does come with auxiliary switches. All right, so what are the available options on the wild track model? Well, it's gonna be leather seats, uh, the heavy duty modular front bumper with heavy duty steel uh, bash plates. So you do have the ability to upgrade that front bumper, uh, but you also can opt for the high package. As you can see right there on the screen, it includes all of those different options. And if you want, you can also opt for the Lux package, luxury package. Uh, as you can see right there on the screen, comes with those available options as well. And so that is something that you need to know. All right, and so the last but not least, we're going to talk about the first edition. Once again, if you're watching this video anytime after that we are recording it, you probably have already lost your chance to get a first edition, but let's go over the options in the pricing anyways. So this thing has a base MSRP of hold on to yourself, 59,305 for a two door or 63,500 for the four door. That's a lot of money, but there are no available options. It comes based on what I can see on this comparison chart, it comes standard with everything. And so I'm going to go ahead and just go down the list as fast as I can. So that way you kind of see what, what you're getting for your money on that high end first edition. The 2.7 liter EcoBoost, 10 speed automatic transmission, the better transfer case. You get the train management system with seven goat modes with the rock crawl and the Baja mode. You got the modular shadow black painted hardtop, the Safari bar. This is the only time I've seen the entire place inside the ordering of this vehicle where you Ford mentioned a Safari bar. Um, the carpeted flooring, unique interior, because this is a first edition, is gonna have a unique interior. Leather trim seats with heated front row and a 10-way power driver seat. That's the only way that I've seen this particular 10-way power driver seat is in that first edition. Um, I, I'd like to see, once the Ford comes out with the ordering guide on this thing, exactly what that looks like. Sasquatch package, standard. 35-inch tall tires, standard. Uh, the luxury package, standard. Uh, trail control, tail turn, trail turn assist, trail one pedal driving, 17 inch beadlock capable wheels, heavy duty front and steel rear bumpers. So this one gets a front and a rear bumper. That's pretty cool. Auxiliary switches and then the stabilizer bar disconnect. And so that kind of wraps up our particular video that showcases every available option, every MSRP for the starting point, 
on every trim level of the 2021 Ford Bronco. As I've already mentioned to you, I made this video in, in one full take too. So if I can at least get a thumbs up for that, I would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but once again, pardon my notes, it's just so much information that it's hard for any one person to completely digest it and do it off of memory uh, without missing something. Uh, so if you want to download those notes, I'll include a link down below uh, for what you get. And basically I'll give you the, those exact same things that I hand typed out myself so that way you can kind of see what, what you're looking at. Uh, once again, if you haven't placed your order for the Bronco, place your reservation using our link below so that way we can be your dealer for this new Bronco. Once again, we're not charging a dollar of markup uh, a dealer markup or ADM or whatever you want to call it on any of the Bronco reservations. But you've got to get your reservation in because at this pace, Ford is going to sell out very, very fast. Um, I'm not allowed to share those with you, but Ford system, if you've tried to place your reservation already, you've noticed that Ford system has been pretty much up and down this entire time because they can't handle the number of traffic, number of people trying to place their reservations. It's a hundred dollar reservation fee. It's a deposit that's a completely refundable. So if nothing else, place the reservation if you're not sure whether you want one or not, because otherwise you might not get a chance to get one at all, even if you do change your mind. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you. If it did, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, I'm curious to see what kind of trim level you're going to go with. If you've made it to the end of this video, leave those comments down below. I'd love to chat with you guys there. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video.